All right. <clears throat> Good morning. So I went ahead and made it blacker around his upper lip muzzle area. Much happier with it. It just was too light in that area for the rest of the black around the mask and the neck area for me. Um, so I revised it this morning. Gave it kind of a tribal styling to keep with the theme. And today, it's time to put some color on this. Good morning, Ron. <laughs> well, you know what? I um used to be able to hand jive a little better when I had more room between the camera and the artwork. Yeah, no, I like it better. It was it was way too light up here. It just it drew too much attention. Now I think it backs it off a little bit um, in a good way. And um, I'm going to do some, hopefully it's just going to be simple color. <clears throat> we'll see once I get into it. I know I change my mind a lot. <laughs> uh, so... I'm trying to think what I need to do. I think I got everything set up. I was, I thought I was going to start early, but then, uh, where did it go? Oh, so tomorrow, I believe we will be doing a Cobra. This is a darker printout for me to work from. This is a lighter, uh, lighter one. So I can kind of get more shadows in the face and drawing from this, but this kind of opens up. So I'll be transferring that onto watercolor paper for Mr. Zablo later today. And we'll be, I think he's, I think he's going to make it down here sometime tomorrow. Ron, if you'd like to come tomorrow, you're invited. You're, you're more than welcome to to come join us. I haven't worked out all the details yet. Um, but if you want to make the trip, feel free and I'll, I'll send you a text or you text me later today. Um, and I'll, I'll see if I've nailed down a time. It's probably going to be, I'm going to say it's probably going to be, well, you can come anytime I'm here. Uh, but as far as the stream goes, I'm figuring, depending on Zablo, <laughs> well, that, you know, that sentence right there just said, depending on Zablo. So that just kind of made it irrelevant to whatever I was going to say. Because he might tell me an early morning start or he might tell me afternoon. So. Don't know. Now, I am trying something that I have not done before, but I learned yesterday. Watching artist and buddy Paolo Rivera work. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I would suggest that you do. He's currently the cover artist for the Black Panther comic book. And he's doing some really amazing paintings. So he was working on a painting yesterday, a watercolor painting. And um, 
He put water down first. And he said, basically, from what I gathered, that this will allow... Once your color gets going, it will allow it to be a little smoother blend if you want that particular look, which I kind of do on this, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm going to see how it reacts once I put down the color. So this is a big experiment for me, and... If you saw my link, and that's why you're here through Twitter or Facebook. Um, yesterday, and it was, I was, this, this was going to be for a friend of mine's son. But since I'm taking this chance, I'm, I'm going to sell this one. I'm going to use it for a sample of what I'm offering. Although I really do want to, um, if you want a full figure, like literally like this, where everything's on the page, that's fine. Um, I don't mind it, but I, I still think if I pull in a bit closer and do some artistic cropping I think I'm going to be happier with the final work so it's not that I'm not happy with this it's just I actually um, learned a lot still learning can never stop uh, learn some stuff that I want to implement and you'll you'll probably you'll probably see that uh, with the um, with the Cobra drawing that Craig's getting tomorrow as far as cropping um, art style or interpretation rather so that everything is not quite so um don't know the correct word i'm looking for uh let's see let me get my hand out of the way yep Let me, uh, so that's a blow sending me a email. I'm just replying to him real quick. So he's good to go tomorrow, but he doesn't say what time. Uh, and he still can't find his headset. So he probably just needs to find another one. Anyway, let's finish. Uh, well, that was a lot of water. Now, the interesting thing, too, is... Um, And man, I've washed these things out. I, but this isn't going to matter on this because it's actually, um, you can see a little bit of red 
still in this brush. Like, I don't think you can see. Or I just wiped it there, but there's still some red in this from where I did the, um, the Spider-Man stuff. So, luckily, it's not going to affect the, um, the blue and the purple and whatever I wind up putting in on this. Okay, so got the water down. And it should be drying. But for the first time, let's give it a little help here. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. It's a quiet dryer, which I like. I I didn't know what to expect when I took it out of the box um, and turned it on the first time. I was happy that it wasn't that bad so I don't know if it was that loud uh, for you all but uh, for me it was it was not bad at all I'll uh, I'll take that now I'm gonna open up this ice blue which is gonna be my base color for the whole panther piece except for of course the eyes So I'm going to put a few drops in my palette. And let's see, I am going to, I'm going to weaken it just a bit, actually. All right, so let's see how I'm going to go into this leg here and see how this lays down. Okay. I've lightened it, which is what I've wanted. And I'm trying to see if the putting water down, it does tend to, well, paper towel just, I didn't have it taped down, so I got to grab that. <laughs> was it loud, Ron? Was it, or was it not that loud?
Oh, okay. Gotcha. Because it, it did not sound that loud to me, so hopefully it's not... Um, Because I'm using the microphone, it, well, as as it seems to be, when I have more than one person on here, and I don't have my headset on right now, but it seems like, as yesterday with Jared, and when you were on, Ron, I can't, for some reason, my microphone won't mute with the mute button on it. Now, what I should have done and didn't think of till after the fact was... I could have muted my mic on the actual stream and the little thing behind the the wizard's curtain deal, you know. Behind the scenes, I guess is what I what I mean to say. Hi, Jerome. Um, that's a very good question, sir. Um, are you a subscriber to my channel? Because if you are a subscriber, Jerome, I have a special going on right now for YouTube subscribers only. Okay, uh, let me give you a link. Um, I'll put that in in a second, but what I was explaining when I was inking this yesterday is if you want a true full figure like this on the page, this is nine and a half by 11. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get that to you. Um, this was one of my initial roughs. I was going to do it. They call this portrait when it's, you know, this way. And then this way is landscape. I personally, when I do a full figure, I kind of prefer to, artistically crop and make it look like a big panel. Um, some people get a little frustrated and say, oh, you didn't give me a full figure. So with this one, I played it safe. I can do either way. And I gave the full figure. But sometimes you have to fit the figure and it, it can be smaller into the designated area of the page. So I kind of like to bleed it off. Um, that's your preference. So I'm going to send you the link. Uh, hold on a second in the chat room. It is a page that is password protected. So I will also send the password.
There's the uh, link. Now, I want to also add this particular piece is going to be for sale. Um, so if you're a Black Panther fan and like this, uh, you can you can tell me you want to purchase it, and you know if you want if you like another character, then we can discuss that. Let me give you the password. And that will allow you in the page to read the details. So thanks for asking, and thanks for uh, thanks for showing up this morning. And if that doesn't work for some reason, please let me know. Uh, it should, but I, I think I've remembered everything correctly. But back to my original, uh, like I said, this was a, I, as if you all watched yesterday, you knew I was talking about this being for a friend of mine's son. Um, but I think after some thought, I am going to, number one, give him a cropped version and do it more. And I'll tell you, on the movie versions, the crop really helps. I'm going to do it more true to the uh, movie version. This is like a hybrid comic book um, movie version. And not that I don't like it. I actually do. It's just it was a personal decision on my on my part. It also, somebody uh, had asked me if I had samples um, to show. So this will go on that page and on my other pages for people that are not subscribers that would pay a higher price. So. I did send that link out last night to just everybody across the board, all my social media with the password, but I'm only going to be able to do so many of these, um, and fit other things in. So, We'll see how it goes. Um, I will continue working. I got stuff lined up. Other commissions, as a matter of fact, that I need to get to. Uh, I have uh, a Thanos that, man, I need to finish my drawing on that, get it transferred, get the incline, get the gray tone, and get the watercolor on it. Ron, I got stuff for you coming up. So it's going to be a full month, and if I produce something that is not purchased, my first convention um, is February 2nd and 3rd in Texas. It's the North Texas comic, I think, comic book show, along with Mike Zek and others. We will be there. It was there last year. Really nice. So I will bring a ton of original art for people that are at the show to perhaps purchase at the show. And the show prices will be more expensive than what I'm offering 
direct. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, no, it's not tiring. Black Spidey is, it, you know, you don't have to do all the webbing. So that's kind of a plus. That kind of um, makes up for doing him so much. And let's see. Um, that would depend, Jerome. Um, it would depend on uh, how many other slots get filled up. Like, I, if you read the entire page, you'll notice that um, if I feel like I've got another one to do and I've got a Thanos that I've got to do. Um, so... If I get filled up, uh, I won't be able to take it. This, that price that you're seeing there is a special uh, end of the year, going into new year price uh, for commission work and for my YouTube subscribers. So it's not going to be available. Um, year round hopefully it'll carry me i'm i'm very uh i'm very tight financially right now myself and that's why i've made the prices where they're at so that it could help other people that were wanting a commission afford one so we'll you know like i said it's Contact me now. Let me know what you're interested in or tell me what what character are you, are you interested in getting a black Spidey is would that be your Would that be your request? Um, boy, uh, let me ask you this. Do you, which, are you talking the Miles Morales or the Peter Parker Spider-Man? All right, we'll let that, that's the watered down blue. Gonna let that dry um, some.
Now, okay, you, I need a little education on Miles Morales. And Spider Gwen, I don't think they changed. She's the same in the book. Do you want the Miles Morales costume that's in the book currently? The only thing I saw in the movie was his graffiti spider. And then that, you know, that did seem different. I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with the character to know if that was in the book, so to speak, before he got the... The, the one with the red webbing and the black suit underneath type deal. So Spider-Gwen would just be a normal, you know, no movie upgrade. I don't think she's any different. I think she's basically the same. Got to make sure when I grab a thing of water here, I, I have it in a clear solo cup. I can grab my, uh, my LaCroix and not my uh, wash water. That wouldn't be too good. And vice versa when I wash my brushes out. Okay, I'm interested to know oh, okay, yeah that that would be a a movie version then on that particular one because I don't think that was ever done in the comic book. But the Spider Gwen, I, you know, I, I think she keeps the same costume. So, now let's see if this is going to be dark enough. Well, it's wet enough. I know that. Let me, uh, yeah, that's going to be a nice, nice blue. I see you all get a little reflection on it occasionally. Yeah, that's I, I didn't see enough variation in in what I what I know of Spider Gwen, which is not not a lot. I'm I'm not up on the real current characters. I did see the movie and I did enjoy it quite a bit. Um but I kinda you know, I didn't think there was much change on Spider Gwen. Um Miles Morales, totally unfamiliar with with him. So I would say Spider Gwen would be no upcharge. And if you want the Miles Morales with the hoodie and the the Jordans and stuff, that that would be. That's that's how I would look at that with you.
Jerome, that that will work. I will um, I will put those on the list and reserve you a spot. And I appreciate it. And I don't know. I haven't looked at uh, my mail yet, so I I don't know if you um, if you wanted to add color into any of those or just black and white or what. So. And I need some more blue. And from now on, I wasn't sure I was going to color this, but since I am, this is on uh, Bristol board. But from now on, anything that's in color will get put on watercolor paper. Um, This holds it fine, but watercolor paper is so much better, so. And I appreciate you being a subscriber to the channel, Jerome. And hopefully you've been watching some of the other videos and um, stuff that's been going on here and uh, if you want to see this being inked and discussed, uh, we did that yesterday afternoon. You can go back and watch that. My friend Jared came on for a little bit. So if you like what you're seeing now, hey, how about a thumbs up from you? Uh, no, um, color is additional because it's, it's more work for me. So that's why I asked. But if black and white works for you, then I'm good with that also. Not a problem. And if you do happen to change your mind about the color, um, 
let me know before I start because like I said, I even though this paper works fine, I would prefer to um, put them on watercolor paper. But it sounds like you know what you want, so that's a good thing. It is watercolor, and you would have to refer back to the page, uh, look at the descriptions, and it'll tell you, you know, if you want to add ink wash, it's a certain amount. And I think color is 50 bucks, $50 more. That's the, off the top of my head. I think that's what I priced it at, though. Yeah, no, that's that's the cool thing is that uh, um, people actually get to see their their piece being um, done and decisions and hilarity, <laughs> chit chat in the room. all fun.
Yeah, I will. Um, I will e email you back a confirmation, Jerome. I'll email you back and let you know <clears throat> that this is, you know, uh, this is what I understand that you want. This is the agreed upon price and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We will, we'll definitely have a, um, an email exchange or two. So not to worry about that. <laughs> that is fun, uh, Jerome. Watching, watching on uh, on YouTube, I suppose. Um, favorite character for me is Captain America.
Let's see what's going on in the chat. I have anything I can answer. Hmm. I think, however, this is not playing right. I need to, that's a little too light. That's better. All right. Purple will be next. Use sparingly, I hope. I hope to control my purple. I don't want to get it unless I really water it down because this purple is extremely intense. It's very, very dark. So uh, let's see. Uh, Jerome, I don't have any upcoming projects for either Marvel or DC that I can share. Um, I haven't been in the, uh, let's say, game of monthly books in quite some time now. Um, I was in the licensing department of DC until... Around 2011, and then they moved out to Burbank, and 
set up a shop out there and that took care of my freelance work for them so since 2011 i've pretty much been uh winging it with commercial jobs commissions um other freelance such design work um mascots logo design you name it uh i've been doing it and conventions from around 2015 for the past three four years i've been uh i've been pretty much Um, not sure that I will ever go back to a monthly gig. All right, real quickly, I am going to dry this so I I can't mute it. Um, I'm not on my headset, so I don't have the mute button. So hopefully, if you're listening and want to mute your speakers while you see this hair dryer come in the picture, feel free. Okay, so that takes care of that, and now on for my purple. And it would be on my other table. And actually, what I'm going to do with this purple is uh, put it in my lighter blue um, that I started off with. Just a drop. This, well, let me. Uh, this is how dark this purple is. I mean, <laughs> it gets lighter with with. Uh, water, of course, but uh, in fact, I'll leave that there because I might need one drop. That's all I need. Come on. There we go. I might need to water this down even more. It is it is some extreme. Uh, in fact, I don't even think they call it purple, do they? It is violet. So I'm mixing it up with my light blue. I might have to put a little more water in with it. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, hmm. It's a nice purple. Looks better in life than on the stream that I'm seeing. Of course, that has a lot to do with light conditions, especially with watercolor being translucent. Hmm. I don't know if it's too purple, though. Do I need to add a little blue to it? Well, let's see. And that really didn't help. I think I'm going to be brave and uh, go with the purple-blue combo. It'll be a nice, uh, you know, not too subtle. Which I don't want overly subtle, but... Uh, well, I'm going to have to add some water. 
There we go. And mix this around again and then see what we have. Now it's uh, way too light. Okay, so I went way too light. Now it's... Hmm. Now it's interesting to me because I'm thinking, what if I put the purple over the blue and the translucency looks great? So, to do that, I just be safe and go in an area that's dark anyway. And I need to get some of the water off. No, that's not quite what I want. All right. So, that little drop that I started with. Go back into my palette. And a test of... Okay, now we're getting better. Boy, that this on on the monitor that I'm seeing looks blue, but it is definitely not blue. Uh, those were um, not com commissions. They were what I wanted to do, but um, my morning streams, some people can buy an entire week and request. Those were what I wanted to do, and uh, I sold them all during, um, during my streams. So, in essence, they were not requests, but they they wound up selling. I don't know if you've been up early enough uh, on a weekday to to check that out live or not, Jerome. No, uh, like I said, I don't have any of them left. I just read your your question, um, but I'd already answered it. So uh, they, like I said, they went during the streams, except for Kingpin. He went later. He went after the stream. Good morning, C. How are you doing? Gotcha, Jerome. It's always good, you know, if I can't make somebody stream, I always like that I can go back and I, even if I can, sometimes I'll go back and rewatch if it's interesting enough or skip ahead a little bit. If I watched it live and get to a part where maybe um, 
maybe I want to rewatch a technique or, or hear what somebody had to say or something. I am very uh, happy that I finally started a YouTube channel. I thought about Twitch, but I really don't like the interface, the user experience. Watching some people on Twitch, it's very cluttered um, and seems quite difficult, but it's a good platform, I think. I know there's a lot of creators over there, but I just can't. It doesn't make sense to me in in the in how to figure out like all that's going on and stuff that just as a viewer it 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 dis, it's distracting to me in a sense unless I go up to um theater mode I guess they call it or something. Because I still like to see the chat, and I think theater mode keeps the chat um, where you can where you can follow along. I'm doing well, see, thank you. Hope you had a Merry Christmas if you celebrate and hey, everybody celebrates in the new year, right? So uh, for me, 2018, the beginning of the year was good, no complaints. The last quarter of the year has not been so good, so I'm looking to get out of it and get into, even though I know it's just another day, it does, it does seem to feel, I don't know, if it, it does, tend to let you feel like you're you're like being washed clean or or something that you're getting that fresh day that fresh new chance Yeah, you can do that, Jerome. You can just wait till till I get back in touch with you. Actually, the funny thing about the um, Spider-Verse daily drawings I did, that was because the, the talk about the movie and the trailer got me very interested. And then some of my friends got to see uh, advanced screenings and they were really talking it up on social media. So before I saw it, I was planning on seeing it the week it opened, which was the 14th, I think that was a, well, I take that back. It opened on a Thursday. I saw it, I think I saw it with my wife and son on 
the Friday matinee, or maybe it was Sunday, or not Sunday, Saturday. But I had not seen it yet, so I didn't understand the deal with Peter Parker. <laughs> and then once I saw the movie, it made perfect sense. Everything kind of came together. I had no idea why they had Parker unshaven, unkept, and in a jacket. And that's why you'll see in my uh, in my sketch. That's how I had him because that's what I knew. And I, I didn't read anything to the point that it would have given it away to me. So, And as you can see, this purple is doing the perfect thing I wanted to. It's it's. You might not be able to see it very clear on the stream, but in person, um, it's really giving me just that extra uh, going over the blue. It's it's given me the extra shade, the extra value that I need on this. This will be up for sale in my store later today once I get it scanned. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be charging for it. I think I should give a break on the price since... Since it's something I'm doing just for... Well, like I said, it, it started out as a gift. But I decided I wanted to give my friend's son more of the movie version, like a lot closer. This is, like I said earlier, if you heard me, it's kind of a uh, more on the comics in a little bit of a little bit of a um, nod to the movie, but maybe not enough. So that's going to take a lot more work, especially on Black Panther. So, but I changed my mind last night and said, you know, when I asked his dad, he said the movie version for Black Panther, because his son would not know the, let's say the Jack Kirby or even the, probably the comic version now. So I'm going to do a a real movie version. And it may just be a portrait. Because it's it's such an involved costume. <laughs> yeah, that was, you know, that was me because... I figured I would do that because people have asked me to do that before on, say, like half the symbiote black suit Spider-Man and half the webhead. So since I didn't quite understand what was going on and I wanted to show Peter Parker because I wanted to represent him, that's why I did the, the split mass thing.
They were a lot of fun to do, though. I I really enjoyed uh, doing those. Uh, Kingpin was was really fun. A nice hat tip to uh, to Bill Sienkiewicz, who brought that look to the Kingpin back in the '80s. Nobody had ever approached the character like that before. Uh, on which one, Jerome? On the Miles piece? Because if it's an action pose, it's it's a little harder to do. Um, if someone's just standing there, it it kind of works better. But if I have him swinging or something, it's it's a little harder sell. People may think his mask ripped down the center or something. <laughs> so. Yes, I am. See, um, if you go back and watch this uh, from the start, you'll once once I'm done, you'll you'll see the build up. Um, yesterday, I did the inking, which is available for replay also, and my buddy Jared. He joined me on the stream for a little bit. So if you want to go back after this and watch that and then catch up on the beginning of this before where you came in, that's available for you to do. And while I'm while I'm saying that, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. I do appreciate it. And leave a comment. Ask a question. I don't bite. I answer. <laughs> if you have a question, that is. If not, just say hello. Or tell me if you like the stream. But I guess the thumbs up kind of does that. And I, like I said, I think this lighter purple is giving me a nice shade of uh, a different blue but I think I am going to I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm, I'm gonna dry this down a little bit and take a little bit of time minute or so to think about do I want any real hard purple cut into it like in this chest area here kind of like in the abs but maybe not you know maybe not it might be a little too much although I kind of like this and I could kind of cut that in and I got it going on in a few more places so I think I'm done with the lighter purple this is this is how this dried and again 
Um, let me see if I can put it next to, yeah. Um, this was the darker color I was afraid to go with. I think I could go with that now in a few selected areas. If I can get that back. And I think it would look good. So my cure for that, I guess, is to add another drop of purple or violet. Very strong into the uh, water I've been using. <clears throat> and see if I can get that tone back. Well, that's the way, um, that's just the way it's done, uh, Jerome. Um, I can't really, uh, my mind doesn't think about it any other way except to layer it. Um, and that probably is due to just mimicking what I think is right. Not, I don't have any painting background. I only have seen what other people have done and what's worked for them. So I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> so, and I mean that in a good way. You know, it's, it's all good. I do see something. I uh, no, I'm going to leave that be. I don't want to get in trouble and mess up what I got going here. All right, Violet, where did you go? Hello to the new watchers. Welcome. I am working with some colors on this piece, as you can See? That's not purple enough. See, that's that's still a little. Boy, am I going to have to go? I think I am. I think I'm going to have to go right for the violet and then water it down as needed. All right, there's one drop. I will use the water that's already in my brush because it's already kind of there. My main thing is I, I don't think I want a lot of this. Interesting. Let me give it a little more water. Better. I believe... I believe that's what I'm going to go with. So... Hair dryer time. People, watch your ears if you're sensitive to sound. Okay. Well, thank you. See, I appreciate the, uh, the the like. 
if you indeed need, looks like I got one added. So I think I'm going to concentrate more on um, more on his glove type area here. I need to get a little bit of this off because that's eh, time for a little water rescue here. Need to spread this down into the glove a bit. And up his forearm. All right, let me take a look at that. Okay, you all can't really see the, because I'm looking at my feed. You can't really see the purple in there, but believe me, it's uh, it's there and it's working nicely. So I think I will strengthen that purple and this one. They are in the dark area, catching a little bit of light.
Okay. Let's see. Do your magic watercolor. I'm not going to touch you. That's the hardest thing I struggle with um, doing watercolor is letting the paint just do what it does. Once I apply it, I want to um, <clears throat> try to force it to go places that it doesn't want to go. And that's what I shouldn't do. I need to learn to let it, let it dance, so to speak. Because I can always go back in and add another layer and smooth things out if something happens that I don't like unless it's like really bad. Which gratefully that is not I don't think that's happened to me yet. <laughs> and, and I hate saying that now because I don't need that to happen now. Now I think I'm getting the um, the tones that I really wanted. I had to build up to the darkness because um, I didn't want to go too dark to start with. But now that I've got it going, um, yeah, I can definitely see that uh, this is where I wanted to go, but a little bit afraid to go there right 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 away. Well, thank you, C. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, all those little uh, daily drawings have, have been teaching me certain things. And I've been learning from them. So it's it's been a good exercise for me. And I miss it already, so I need a, a full week to get back to them. Because it's a, it's a really good place for me to learn. And... You know, sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes they happen more than once. <laughs> like uh, with my favorite character, Captain America, of all 
characters. Wonder how that Cobra piece is going to look tomorrow. <laughs> Ronner, are, are you going to try to make it for the for the Stallone stream tomorrow? Truthfully, people, I wish I would have done more of my own illustration and drawing earlier in my life and career in comics. Um, I was so caught up in the inking that it kept me busy enough that I didn't feel like I needed to pursue or follow anything else. And um, I have my regrets about that um, to a degree. I also have my, you know, my um, gratitude for it because it's what, it's what I'm known for. Without it, I would just be somebody that didn't have a uh, history of projects that people know about or care about. Well, that's kind of a bold statement. I mean, there, you know, it could have. been something else but um yeah i mean you know overall it's been good overall though i wish i would have had a little more initiative when i was younger to take the bull by the horns like i am now and decide that you know I want to I want to learn to draw better. I want to learn to paint. I want this. I want that. Not in a greedy way, but just in a, I'm interested to learn how to expand. But I didn't. So. So I'm doing it now, you know. retain the audience I have and uh, look for a new audience also. That's the way I look at it. I think that's a healthy um, attitude to have.
And I think it's probably about the only, you know, it's the only way I can look at it. I don't think it's ever too late to learn or to pursue something that you have a genuine interest in. You just sometimes, um, you know, you wind up sacrificing time that you would spend maybe playing a video game or doing something else by improving whatever it is you want. Maybe you want to be a better video game player. I've got no problem with that. If that's what you want to do, then and you enjoy it, then by all means, do it. Everybody has their own dreams that make them happy and, you know, that they want to chase. So my advice is from what I've learned so far in the past, uh, couple of months is a couple things. Number one, you have to start. And number two, there is no perfect, there is only done. I know deep, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to be deep. I'm just like, Telling you how I feel when I have those thoughts. You know, when those regrets or whatever you want to call them. I don't even know if they're regrets. They're just missed opportunities or whatever. Whenever that sneaks into my head, I just realize that I can still develop Certain skills. Now, yeah, okay. Uh, let me qualify. It, you know, if I was like going to be a, a running back or something, well, yeah, that's kind of out of the question. That's an unrealistic, maybe, goal for me to to try to go after. But. Learning how to do a painting, learning how to draw better, that's all in my wheelhouse. And that's what I'm doing. And I appreciate you all coming along and joining me on the ride. To see how far I can get. All right, so I do appreciate it. How's it look? It's a little dark uh, from the perspective I'm getting on looking at it via 
the live stream. <laughs> That's right, Ron. Deep thoughts. They're running deep today. It is deep in here. It's deep up in here. Okay, so I asked the panel watching, should I attempt anything in the background or should I leave it be? <laughs> that was fast, Ron. That was a fast leave it. Yeah, I, the only thing I'm going to do is uh, with the white paint is I'm going to hit a little bit of uh, light. I don't even know. If, you know what? I don't even think I'm going to do that. Only for the fact that if I hit those because I did tone them down with the lightest blue. If you like this blue in here, everything got a light wash except for the white eyes. And I think if I go and hit those with a little bit of white, I think it'll draw too much attention to the necklace. And I really don't want that. Boom. You're right, Ron. Boom. I believe uh, the only thing I was thinking was a nice bright yellow border like around the figure but not the whole figure um if that makes any sense like the shadow parts yellow yellow but the problem with that is i think it's gonna look like uh well, it would look good, but I just don't think it's... Okay, here's the deal. I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking the figure, the coloring, it can all stand on its own. I don't need to add an extra layer of anything to this right now. It wasn't planned. I didn't have it in my pencil sketch. I didn't have it in my head. Therefore... Um, it does not need to be. The only thing I do need to do is one little area I see is I'm going to hit this tricep with a little bit of purple. And I'm going to dab it so it doesn't get too dark. There we go. Now, you probably didn't even see that at all or can't see it at all on the stream, but it's there. It's just a nice little divot. It just uh, reinforces this little bit of purple I put, this little bit, and that. So it just kind of carries it forward. So I'm going to sign it. I'm going to get it scanned. And I am going to put it on my store for sale and announce to the world that there is a Black Panther. Black Panther. There's a Black Panther. There is a Black Panther watercolor drawing, full figure, 9 by 12, at an amazing price. So that's what I'm going to do. And this will give people an example of what type of full figure commissions I'm doing, whether it be the full figure that, to me, it, it is the full figure on a page, but I prefer to do full figures that fill the page, are cropped off a bit, and are more in your face. 
but I see nothing wrong with this one. It's just for me, design wise, I like to play with um, cropping and stuff. So other than that, I'm very pleased with the um, with the outcome of this. So uh, I think we're going to call it done after, you know, uh, I'll sign it. I'm going to clean up here, come back, clean up my paints, come back here, give it a signature, put it in the store, tweet that out, Facebook that out. And uh, <laughs> you know, Ron, I was I was thinking that myself that uh, I set the bar a little high right out of the gate. So. Um, but that, you know what, this is something that, that I'm learning is, you know, this was, this was all of what I've been building on for the past, what, couple months now, uh, November, December. Yeah. Back to the end of, uh, back to the end of August. Or August, man, I'm sorry, October. Um, I think some of my first streams started in October. So my whole goal has been to improve. And if I don't see improvement, then I'm doing something wrong. But I'm seeing improvement in a lot of areas, and uh, I'm pleased with it. So having said that, I'm going to close this stream. I don't know how long we've been running for, what the what the time has. I, I think we're at a couple hours. Yeah, we're right at a couple hours. Started at 8, going to 10. I want to thank everybody. Well, we'll see. Um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to price it at. Uh, I'll look at what it would be for my full price sale. YouTube. And, uh, you know, I don't want to try to get too much for it because, uh, you know, daddy needs the money. So <laughs> I might have to, might have to, uh, market appropriately. So it does sell, but that's fine. It, like I said, if it doesn't, my first convention is February second and third and i will have a nice display of original art to sell at the show if it doesn't sell online and i don't have to ship it then either hey good morning dr kaz i guess uh i don't know if you just got here or if you've been watching if not don't worry if you want to watch you can always go back um this was the Black Panther, of course, that I inked yesterday. I've now colored it. And quick story is I'm going to go ahead and do a full movie version, maybe a portrait style, like the Doctor Doom I did for Ron. I think I showed you all that and the flash piece that I did. So I think I'm going to focus more on the face since it's so detailed. And I'll do a, a watercolor um version of that for him and i think that that might be the best way uh so but i, I did want to finish this so i can put up an example of what i'm offering to my youtube people And I think this might be an interesting video to go back and watch. Uh, I've learned a lot from other people by watching. And I know you're beginning to dabble back in art a little bit more. So I'm just taking what I've learned from watching them and asking them questions and applying it to what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, it's nothing new, but. It is a process, and I'm working out uh, working out how to approach my my work. So, 
hopefully it will help, you know, as others have others work and others answering questions for me have helped. I can help you all. Okay, Ron. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely hit you up with a text. Uh, Dr. Kaz, we are doing a stream tomorrow. We are doing, of all things, Craig Zabla will be back in the house, and we are going to be doing an inkwash drawing of Sylvester Stallone as Cobra. So this is what I'm going to be doing sometime. I'm not sure I need to talk to Craig and get the uh, time he wants to stream. With Craig, it's either going to be, oh, I have to do it early or after lunch. Myself, I am probably leaning towards starting it around. Well, I'd like to start before lunch because I don't want to go through lunch. You know, like one o'clock would be probably be a, a really good start for me. I could get a small bite to eat, just enough to hold me through, not enough to make me feel logy. But uh, yeah, so, all right. Time to scan this and get it in the shop and see if I can find a buyer. I'll put my signature, signature down here. Uh, I guess I'll date it for today since today is the day I finished it, um, even though I started it yesterday. Um, Jerome, if you're still around, I will answer your email about your commission pieces. And other than that, um, I think I'm not sure if I will be streaming again today. If I do, it will be, ah, I got to finish the drawing of that Thanos. So I can't, I think that's going to take me a good portion of today after I get this prepped and in the store. Um, and my work area cleaned up. I don't like to leave all this watercolor and dirty water and stuff around. I'm, it's really funny. There's certain things I'm very particular about and then other things that can just lay on the floor like papers and stuff on my office that don't drive me crazy. I'm, I'm, I need to come to some sort of a conclusion on what that would be. All right, Dr. Kaz, see you tomorrow. And I will hopefully see everybody else who stopped by today, tomorrow. And uh, I appreciate your all support. And uh, I might be back on later. So if you're subscribed, look for a notification. If not, you might see a tweet or you might see something on Facebook if you follow me on any of that social media. So have a good one. And uh, thanks for stopping by this morning. Take care.